What's up guys, we're here at Senders Only. Today we are going to be installing some TC Bro rotors on a 2000 FXDX T-Sport. Um, I'm gonna be going over a couple of things we use installing these rotors, so yeah, let's go. All right, today we're gonna be installing these wave rotors. You know, we've been running a lot of different rotors over the past, I'm stoked to try these ones out. The carriers, everything seems pretty beefy on these, so we'll see how these things last. Right on, all right, well, let's get started. We're gonna be pulling out the front wheel first. We're gonna need a couple tools, uh, three quarter inch wrench, five sixteenths Allen, uh, quarter inch Allen for the fender, uh, nine sixteenths for the pinch bolt. Let's go. We're gonna start by removing the fender, removing the calipers, um, get everything out of the way so that way we can uh, get that front wheel pulled off. All right, yeah, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna start with the T40, go around, get all these, get all these broken loose so we can get this rotor off. Now that we got these removed, we're gonna go ahead and blow them out with some air, take a thread chaser and go get these threads cleaned up. Normally this is a very important procedure to do, especially on a bike this old. A lot of these threads are normally gummed up with Loctite. Blow these out one more time. So now that we got everything off, we got all the threads cleaned out, everything looks good, ready for install, we're gonna go ahead and get these rotors put on. We're gonna go ahead and get a dab of Loctite on these bolts before install. All right, now uh, we're gonna go ahead and get all these bolts installed. Everything should be going in very clean if you got yourself good threads. Sweet, everything's ready to get torqued down. We'll go ahead and get everything torqued down at 20 foot pounds. Going to crisscross pattern. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just for aesthetics, we're gonna match these rotors up on both sides. Make sure we got both the logos matching. Sweet. As you can see here, we got a fresh set of wave rotors installed on a clean set of 13 spoke mags. Looks great. Install a little bit of anti-seize on the axle. We moved on to the back wheel, you know, same procedure pretty much, just a couple different tools. Uh, T45 for the rotor bolts and a 3 8 uh, thread chaser. Let's go ahead and run this 3 8 chaser through here. Everything's feeling good. It's cool with the rotors, they'll offer you a, uh, you know, an interspacer for your 1.9 wheels, your Timken wheels, or obviously no spacer, you know, you can run them on your sealed bearings. Clean these threads up and reuse these bolts. We're just run the same procedure here on the rear, just make sure these threads are nice and clean. All these torque in, finger tight, and we'll go ahead and get all these torqued down to 40 foot pounds. We're going ahead and get this wheel back uh, back on the bike reinstalled. Uh, we'll just get everything cleaned up, grease the axle, and get everything torqued down. 